Well hello and welcome to my latest video. Uh, just been out for a uh, ride with my mate John, uh, about 38 miles, legs not feeling too wonderful but uh, nice countryside, uh, nice company and a very pleasant uh, uh, cup of coffee and a flagette, yes something new to me, uh, it was kind of round uh, baguette in the cafe uh, with a BLT and BLT for those of you who don't know is uh, bacon, lettuce and tomato and is a popular filling uh, in sandwiches uh, certainly in this country, the United Kingdom uh, but possibly throughout the world as well. So what are we doing today? Well I thought I'd do a bit of a, a, a scientific uh, experiment. I've been doing some stuff uh, in my garage uh, also known as the, the West Wickham Institute of Science. And the reason I've been working in the laboratory uh, today and over the last uh, few weeks, in fact, uh, is to come up with uh, some ideas that are going to help me save, uh, save watts on the bike and therefore increase my speed. And as a consequence, I'll be able to beat people on the club run or just beat people that I happen to see riding along on their bikes. Now, um, you might say, well, have these, have these things been peer reviewed, Julian? Have you just come up with them just by yourself? Well, um, they haven't been peer reviewed yet, but uh, there's a, a very famous peer at South End. So I'm planning to go down there at the weekend and I shall uh, ride along the pier and hopefully people will see and I'll get peer reviewed that way. So there's about seven or eight items. You don't have to do them all. Um, some of the things may be a little bit complicated. They do take a little bit of effort, a little bit of work. Uh, you may need assistance from grandparents, aunts, uncles, cousins, other, other relatives within your family to uh, help you do things. Obviously in these particular times, if you're in tier two or tier three and you can't mix with people outside of your home, well then you won't be able to do that. You'll just have to watch the video and work it out for yourself. So the number of items that help you go quicker on the bike and don't we all want to see those. So let's start off. Let's start off with the first one. Here's one thing that you can all do, and that's uh, wrap, wrap your shoes. Now these are these are cycling shoes. These, as it happens, are rather nice Dromati cycling shoes. We don't have to use these shoes. You can use any pair of cycling shoes. And what I've done is wrap them with cling film. You say, well, what is the point of wrapping them with cling film? Well, it's all about aerodynamics, and it's about the way that the air flows over the shoe. And this particular shoe uses uh, laces, so anything that smooths out that uh, aerodynamic ruffle, as we scientists call it, uh, is going to be better and is to enable you to go faster. So I've used some cling film, I've used ordinary cling film, uh, I bought this from Tesco's, you can use Sainsbury's as well, I wouldn't use Waitrose, Waitrose uh, cling film is not quite so good, but any other uh, cling film uh, works just as well. Make sure you cover you cover up your cleats because they're quite bad when it comes to, to air flow. So just get get a roll of clean film, uh, tear off a bit of it, uh, wrap your shoes. I've done the right shoe here, but I've done the same with the left shoe. I'm not showing you that because it's the same sort of principle. And I haven't done the back of it because that's not really necessary. That's kind of covered by your covered by your leg. You see your leg is here. Can you imagine your leg sticking out of the, the shoe and your calf at the back. So you don't need to do that bit, but you do need to do this front bit. So there we are, cling film on your cycling shoes. That's the first uh, and one of the, the easiest, quickest, e simplest uh, methods anyone can do to save some watts on the bike. I have done some analysis here uh, in the in the laboratory as, or the, the the Julian lab, as I like to call it, and uh, I've saved about two watts so far. So that's that's certainly worth having. The next thing we do is to uh, put some foil, put some foil on our cycling helmet. Now this is a. Uh, this is an ordinary cycling helmet. This, as it happens, is a, a blue bell helmet. I'll put the helmet on there so you can see what it looks like. And uh, I'll just do the straps up under my chin like that, tighten it up. And as you can see, what I've done is just, uh, I've taken some ordinary foil, ordinary uh, aluminum, aluminum foil, I think you call it in America, but we call it aluminum foil. And I've just wrapped it on the helmet. And again, what that does is to block up the vents. And as I'm sure you know, the vents they trap a lot of air uh, around your head and if you can uh, stop that air getting trapped 
and get the air just to flow smoothly over your head like that. I've tried this again in the in the Julian lab. I use my use my fan as a kind of primitive but effective wind tunnel and that saved me three watts. So that's five watts altogether. I hope you're keeping count. So those two together have added up to five watts, which is quite a bonus in itself. So let's have a look at the third method. But for this one, I need the bike. So don't go away. All right, for the third method, uh, I'm sitting on the bike. I'm not sure if you can see the bike. I'll lift it up. Oh, a little bit, a uh, little bit, a uh, uh, little bit painful in the crotch. Now I'll lift up the bike. Oh, well, I quite like that, actually. Uh, I'll put the bike down a bit. So I'm sitting on the bike. And what we have here is a Wahoo or a Garmin. Now I'm just going to uh, lower the camera so you won't be able to see my face quite so well, uh, but you'll be able to see the Garmin a little bit better. Therefore, look, look at that. Just, uh, just moving the lens out. Let's move the lens out a little bit further. There I'll move the lens out a little bit further. Now you can see here the uh, out front mount for the Garmin. And this is the place that many people have their Garmin or their Wahoo uh, so they can see it easier. But I've done some tests here in the in the Julian lab and what I did is I unscrewed the mount here and I raised it raised it up like this just to unscrew it a little bit further and there we are look look I'm raising it up like that. Now you would have seen uh, when you see people doing uh, on their time trial bikes um, they have their they have their arms out like this and they're leaning forward like that because that makes the, the air smooth, uh, flow more smoothly over their head. You see, now what I've found or what I've learned is that when you have the Wahoo or the Garmin mount at this particular angle, then the airflow comes like this. Uh, it comes up here and it goes over your head. So you're cycling along like this. Right, and this acts as a kind of little a little fairing. You know how you have a you might have a fairing on a motor bike or or or, or some uh, two wheel machine such as that. This is like a fairing, and it smooths the airflow around your your face and around your your head. So, and this actually saves this actually saves four watts. So we save we save two watts through the shoe element. We save three watts with the the helmet, and now we save four watts. Uh, with the Garmin or the Wahoo out front mount. So as I'm sure you know, four plus three is seven, seven plus two is nine. So, so far we've saved nine watts and that translates into a, a, a recognizable uh, bit of additional speed. So that's a, a very useful one, uh, that one there. Uh, if you haven't got a, a Wahoo uh, or if you haven't got a, Gar a Garmin, uh, it does work if you just have the mount. You see, so I've got the mount here, uh, not quite as many watts, and probably about three and a half watts rather than four, uh, but you can just use the mount and that will save you a bit of money because you don't have to actually buy the Garmin or the Wahoo, you just have to buy the mount for it. Right, now then, then this, for this next element, I've had to get right down here on the ground, uh, a little bit a little bit tough on the old knees, but you can see here on my, on my Fairlight Seek and Gravel bike, I've got a, a tool, kind of tool bottle here, and I've got a pump. Can you see the pump there attached to the, the, uh, the, the seat tube? Now you may have a, a saddlebag, something like this, for example, you may have it attached to your saddle there. You can't actually see that now, you can see it, but it, it's not really attached to the saddle there. But imagine it's attached to the saddle. Well, what I've found is if I remove uh, the saddlebag or the tool bottle, and if I'm carrying both, I'll remove both. And if I remove the pump as well, the pump as well, then that will save me five watts. Uh, so that adds to the the nine watts. Hope you're hope you're adding this up, uh, and that makes fourteen watts altogether. Now there is a downside to it. I don't deny this. There is a downside to it. I have found this on a, a couple of occasions when I've been out. I've been I've been out for a ride. I've saved myself some watts by not carrying a saddlebag, not carrying a pump. But what's in the saddlebag, of course, is a tube and a set of tire leaves. So if you have a puncture, uh, you're rather stuck. And that happened to me. Had to get an Uber home, but it saved me uh, an awful lot of time on the ride. Lost the time in the car going home, but that was a different that was a different problem. That was a different matter. So I wasn't overly concerned about that. So if you want to remove remove your pump 
uh, remove your saddlebag, remove your tool bottle, uh, remove everything in fact from the bike because anything that helps to, to make, uh, shave weight off the bike, uh, make it lighter, that's going to save you some watts. I've tried this in the, uh, uh, tried this in the, in the Julian lab here in uh, West Wickham, uh, not been quite so easy to test because you don't really see the effect of that with the fan that I'm using. But nonetheless I've been able to calculate using some, some important algorithms that 5 watts is about the maximum that you'll save by doing that. So very useful tip that one. Okay the next tip uh, is about shaving. Now uh, you've probably seen uh, lots of cyclists male and female they, they shave their legs. What I've found is if I shave my arms, I, I, I have shaved my arms but the, the hair has grown back, grows back very quickly on your arms, if you've noticed that. If you shave your arms and you shave your, your eyebrows, I did shave them here, I went to the barbers in fact, got them to do it, uh, it's come back rather quickly but I did find when I'd shaved my eyebrows and I came in here into the Julian lab, gone on to the, gone on to the turbo and uh, did some miles and put the fan on, I did some analysis, did some experiments and I found uh, that I saved some additional watts just by shaving your eyebrows. So you might think, well that's not, no, I don't think that's very likely Julian. Well, all I can say is try it. You know, if you, if you want to be quicker if you want to save watts, if you want to try and get some PBs on Strava, then you've got to make sacrifices. And if one of those sacrifices means you don't have any eyebrows and you don't have any hair on your arms, well then so be it. I mean, we, we all have to suffer to, to achieve results. I've suffered. I can see why you shouldn't suffer. It's, you know, go get on with it. Stop uh, making excuses. Now the next uh, method I discovered, I discovered this purely by accident, in fact. And these are a, a pair of, of uh, Castelli, and they call them toe thingies. And the, the, the intention of these is that you put them over your, your shoe like that, and it keeps them warm. Well, it just so happened that I was out for a ride. So I did this experiment in the real world, and I happened to take one of the toe thingies off, and I, and I put it on my hand. You don't need to know why I put it on my hand, but I, I, I just did. And I was cycling along like this. I, had my, I put the other one on as well, so I had these toe thingies on, and I noticed that when I checked my Strava results, I'd done a much faster ride than I'd normally done. Now, I eliminated all the other variables, like, like turning the pedals faster or, or drafting behind somebody or the weather or feeling good or something like that, just being stronger. The, the only thing I could put it down to was that I had these particular toe thingies on my hands. Now, it's something to do, again, it's all about airflow. It's something to do with the way that the air flows over your hands while they're on the handlebars. So these are these are Castelli, they're called toe thingies. Uh, the, the holes in the bottom here, they go over your cleats on your shoes. You don't have to worry about that. This is the side that you're interested in. They look a bit like puppy gloves, but they're not puppy gloves. They are Castelli toe thingies. And I managed to save seven watts. Yes, seven watts, uh, guys, by uh, uh, using these on my hands. So I can highly recommend them. And the final thing, the final thing, again, I was amazed about this and it was purely by accident that I I discovered it and th th this is a pump yes it's it's a track pump now normally what happens is I pump up my tires when I'm in the garage so I'm using I'm using fairly stale air I'm using fairly fairly old air now I realized that when I went outside, went out into my garden, and I pumped up my tyres with the pump there. In other words, I was using fresh air, you know, fresh, fresh air straight out of the out of the air, as opposed to out of my garage. Uh, I managed to save nine watts. Can you imagine that? I went so much quicker on the ride. I eliminated all the other variables. I I, I wasn't wearing the 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 toe thingies on my hands. I didn't have the the foil on my helmet. I didn't have the uh, the the the, uh, the cling film on my shoes at that point. I hadn't altered the position of the wahoo out front mount. So the only thing I could put it down to was that I was using that fresh air in my tires. So I don't know if you've got access to the same fresh air or, or the same fresh air as the same kind of standard that I've got here in West Wickham, uh, where you live in Ohio or Pennsylvania or Portugal or Singapore, places like that. The, the air that you have there may be different. So it may not make quite the same 
time, may it might not quite have quite the same impact on your speed and on your wattage as it's done for me. But I found uh, fresh air has made all the difference. So if I put all those things together, I hope you've been doing the maths. If you put all those things together, I've saved 29 watts and 29 watts has equated to about three miles an hour. So my normal speed, which is just under 10 miles an hour average, I'm now at 13 miles an hour average. And my normal wattage, which is about 97, is now 97 plus, uh, what did I say, 29, uh, is, is 26. And my normal, my wattage now is 126. So 13 miles an hour, average wattage of 126. And you've got to admit, that is a pretty significant difference. And if you could achieve the same level of increase in your cycling performance, I think you'd be a very happy cyclist indeed. So you're welcome to uh, use all these methods. If you if you tell your clubmates or your friends about them or share them on on Instagram or Twitter, uh, please give me a credit because you know you know it all it all helps to to add uh, uh, grist to the mill and uh, uh, money in the bank. And money in the bank leads to more money for the Vine Food Bank, which is where the money from these videos is currently being channeled. So hope you've enjoyed it. Hope you pick up on some of these lessons and look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks for watching and see you next time.